Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com and today we are going to do an important session SPM CAL Assistant Manager Marketing to, uh, 2022 so this notification is out and if you have already done your MBA right if you have already done your MBA in marketing or PGDBM in marketing then you are eligible last day to apply is 3rd of October 3rd of October 2022 3rd of October is the last date okay uh so today we are going to do an important session on pricing strategies right students this is a really important chapter one or two questions every year in every ibps so marketing exam or spmcal assistant marketing manager exam one or two questions are there from this particular topic very easy topic we are going to do right so ibps so marketing and spmcal marketing course is already available on bankexamstudy.com we are providing recorded sessions notes live sessions study material is available in downloadable format complete syllabus coverage quizzes test series interview preparation guidance everything is available in the course and uh, links are available in the description in case there is any doubt in your mind you can drop a whatsapp message and we are going to answer all your doubts okay let's start with the various pricing strategies and the first strategy is price skimming <clears throat> in this strategy the uh, the seller is charging the highest possible price let me give you an example of Gucci bags. Do you know price of a Gucci bag? It starts from 1.25 lakh rupees and goes up to like 5 lakh rupees. I mean, that's very common when it comes to Gucci or Louis Vuitton. So why do people buy uh, such products? Because they want to show off. They want to tell others that, yes, I can afford it. And the business, they know that there are people who are ready to pay that much for a bag, for a handbag. So this is price skimming strategy in which the businesses they charge the they charge the highest possible price from the customers because they are ready to pay. So charging the highest possible price this is what this is price skimming strategy. What do you mean by the penetration pricing? Let me give you a simple example of Jio Reliance Jio when it was introduced in 2016-17 they gave us free internet. They gave us literally free internet, very high speed internet. At that point of time, uh, I was getting like, like 40 Mbps, 40 Mbps on my phone for free. Right now, I don't get 40, uh, you know, I, I pay for Jio, but I don't even get 2 Mbps. At that point of time, at the same location, I was getting 45 Mbps, 50 Mbps. So what they were trying to do, they were trying to capture the market share by providing premium quality product. At, uh, you know at no cost for free so they what they were trying to do they were competing with the you know uh, well settled brands and they were trying they were trying to capture large market share quickly they were trying to capture the large market share quickly that is penetration pricing approach what do you mean by psychological pricing what do you mean by psychological pricing again uh, why do you buy Gucci bags again? Why do you buy Gucci bags? Because you want to, I mean, somebody who's buying a Gucci bag, why does that person is buying a Gucci bag? I mean, the 1.25 lakh or 2 lakh rupee worth of bag, why? I mean, I know a lot of ultra rich people, very rich people, they don't buy such stuffs. They don't buy Louis Vuitton or Gucci. They just buy the normal brands that we people wear, the simple US Polo or Levi's, the same normal people brand, right? Middle class people, I guess, they buy it. So they are wearing the same thing, uh, you know, same brands are 2000 rupee jeans, right? Or I wear like 1500, 2000 rupee jean. I buy in the sale, right? Uh, so why do people buy Gucci? They want to show off. There is an emotional factor and no rational. Many times the purchase decisions are based on feelings or emotions rather than rational, right? Sometimes there is a love and affection. Why do people buy popcorns at the cinema hall? Do you know the at the cinema hall? I hope everybody knows the price of a popcorn is 350 rupees plus taxes. Why people buy that? I mean, you go to a cinema hall right to a you know pvr 
you went with your girlfriend or you went with your kids right and they are asking you i mean i'm hungry yes are you hungry yes i am hungry okay let's buy popcorn and you bought 350 rupee popcorn would you buy popcorn for 350 rupees outside the uh, of a multiplex you won't do that why are you doing that there is a love right i mean you love your kid or you love your girlfriend that is why you are buying a popcorn for 350 rupee for love affection maybe sometime it's a prestige issue everybody around me is buying 350 rupee popcorn and i'm not buying it and it looks odd everybody thinks that i'm poor i can't afford it that is why i am buying a 350 rupee uh, you know popcorn right you want to build your self image by wearing expensive clothes you are telling everybody that yes i can afford it see i am rich i am successful i can buy 350 rupee popcorn i am rich i know a lot of rich people they don't buy 350 rupee popcorn but yes wanna be rich they do that and next strategy is a odd even pricing by any cost the pricing is 399 or uh, you know 299 it's never 4000 right why why these odd prices because uh, you know as per market research people uh, you know they feel like there is a huge difference between 99 rupees and 100 rupees it's a two digit number it's a three digit number people are comfortable in paying 99 rupees than 100 rupees right that as per research right and marketers they know that that is why they set the prices like 99 they set odd numbers loss leader pricing what is loss leader pricing uh dmart have you visited dmart i hope you have visited dmart i mean i have been there they give you some you know product at a very low price they give you like 5 kg sugar at let's say 20 rupees per kg while the market price is 40 rupees per kg right so they spent you know 40 rupees uh they spend 100 rupee per customer this is the loss they are bearing the cost of 5 kg sugar is 20, uh, 40 rupees while they are selling for like 20 rupees anybody who is going to dmart he won't be buying just 5 kg of sugar right they'll be buying a lot of other stuffs as well and sometimes they have other conditions that uh, if you are buying you know ration or you know goods worth 2000 then you can avail this offer obviously then you know this offer can't be misused right very common sometimes at dmart i have seen like uh, there is a offer uh, levi's jeans are available at uh, you know 50 percent discount at no other place it is available at 50 percent off so when you go to a uh, such a big store you won't be buying just levi's jean you won't be buying just sugar you'll be buying a lot of other stuffs as well right so dmart is going to make money out of other stuffs that you are buying not from the jeans not from the sugar but from the other stuffs as well okay superficial discounting setting the prices really high i have seen some websites some online courses available at 16000 15999 and then they offer you a discount of 75% 80% okay so now you feel okay i mean this product is available at 75% discount very low price okay i should buy it i mean while the actual price was only that much only right so this is a superficial you know discounting method that various online uh, you know uh, academies use large academies they use it special event pricing the big billion day the great indian festive offer this strategy is used by the online websites like flipkart like amazon aggressively used by them right they advertise this uh, special event and big sales are made right i mean crores of rupees, billions of you know rupees is of revenue is made by this uh, you know huge uh, e-commerce websites right what is markup pricing so you got a product whatever the product you got and there is a markup in your mind that okay whatever the product i'm getting my markup is 20 percent so that markup is your profit okay that is your markup and now you are selling the product you are adding the markup no matter what the cost is you are just adding your markup okay many wholesale uh you know uh, uh 
wholesalers are using this strategy many cloth merchants they use the strategies right very common strategy the target return pricing there is a shopkeeper i mean uh, who feels that i need uh, 50000 rupee at the end of the month right so um, let's say whatever he is selling let's say he is selling cloth or bales of cotton so let's say if he is making you know 10 rupee per bale 10 rupee per bale right so 10 rupee so if he is making 10 rupee per bale then he needs to sell 5000 you know if he is selling 5000 bales so he keep margin of 10 rupee to make 50000 rupee right let's say his, his sale increase to 10000 now he can keep a margin of 5 rupee to make the same you know return so 50000 so common man okay so this is one method other method is roi okay return in your mind okay quite similar to markup pricing okay so competition uh, based pricing so whatever the price is fixed by your competitor you are looking into that and you are adjusting your pricing according to that if you are selling let's say there are two uh, you know fruit sellers they are selling apples a is selling the apples at 100 rupees b is selling the apples at 70 rupees let's say the quality is same nobody is going to buy apple from a he he needs to you know decrease the pricing to 70 rupees only i mean this strategy is very common in case of cement and steel companies okay and demand based pricing very common in case of fire crackers right fire crack cracker industry or kites right if the uh, you know demand is high the price is going to be high as well if the demand is low the prices are going to be low as well A good example is hotel industry in case of hotel industry when the pricing uh, when the demand is really high they increase the prices when the demand is low they decrease the prices right in festive season uh, in the holiday season the demand of hotel industry is high they you know they keep the prices high when the you know uh, the holiday season is gone the demand is very low and so they keep the prices low as well the next method is a perceived value pricing whatever the perception of um, the customer is you need to know the perceived value the customer's perceived value right let's assume i mean i hope you go for a gym or you good go for a walk right i hope you people do workouts right i do right on regular basis uh to keep a check on your health right uh let's assume i mean i'm assuming everybody is going to a gym right so uh, and you want to buy a pair of shoe how much you are ready to pay for a pair of shoes what's your perception what's i mean what are the features you are looking for see uh, i'm ready to pay 3000 rupee for a pair of shoe 3000 rupee it should be comfortable it should be comfortable it should last for a year right it should be comfortable it should be last for a year and it should fit me well right there should be proper grip i mean uh, these are the basic requirement and this much i'm ready to pay Uh, brand is important yes i buy a6 or you know sketchers or nike sometime nike i mean I, i i can't buy a nike for 3000 okay i buy sketchers most of the times as a6 that is my perception so uh, my father is ready to pay i guess i buy for my father anyways uh, one of my brother in law right uh, my brother in law he buy the shoes for let's say uh, i guess 8000 to 15000 that much he spend on a6 shoes right and he doesn't even go to gym i don't know why he pay that much but the, there are you know uh, there is a perceived value his uh, i mean whatever he is buying his shoes should be comfortable uh, it should last for a year and it should look good i mean that's another story look good i mean this is not my uh, you know requirement it's his requirement it should look very good okay so there is a value proposition right i mean the company must deliver the promised value proposition that it communicated okay whatever the company told you that there is a you know uh, memory form inside it or uh, 
you know uh, it'll be very comfortable it'll be you know arch fit is there it'll be comfortable on your knees you know whatever they promise they should deliver that okay optional additional items i hope you have purchased a car in your lifetime if you are a student then i don't think you have purchased till now but i hope you'll be able to purchase it in the future and maybe you have you know went with your father to purchase a car that could be a case so when you uh, go to buy uh, a car do you know i mean there is a concept of base model right do you know price of a base model of a nexon car i guess that is 9 lakh rupees while the top model is i guess 17 lakh rupees right of the same car right so there are additional factors like alloy wheels like uh, you know uh, screen in the front or uh, power windows uh, lots of lots of features are there right uh, extra ac vent uh, you know extra airbags leather seat covers a different kind of handbrake lever uh, lots of uh, you know features extra features you get in the uh, top model right so that is optional additional items if you don't need the screen don't get it right get the base model right but uh, optional additional item pricing is what the automotive uh, companies are using the next one is captive product pricing this question was asked in the 2020 i guess uh so mains exam so this is actually very important even the penetrative pricing was asked in i guess 2021 maybe captive pricing uh inkjet printers do you know inkjet printers are available for just 2000 rupees that is less than the cost of an inkjet printer why the companies are selling at such a low cost because they want you to buy an inkjet printer and then buy their cartridges the companies are making money from cartridges they want you to regularly buy the cartridges and then the companies would make money from the cartridges okay another example the gillette razors the razors are you know sold at a very low cost and then the compatible blades are very expensive another good example is the ps5 ps4 and ps5 you buy ps5 it is available at a very low price 50000 rupees while the components of ps5 i mean they are really expensive while the ps5 is available at a very low cost the sony is not making any money by selling playstation they are making money by selling their subscription plans by selling games that's how sony is making money right and the bid pricing uh, very common in case of government projects right um, the uh, the buyer uh, they invite the tenders the buyer invite the tenders let's say the buyer wants to purchase a huge quantity of uh, solar panels they make an advertisement on newspaper that yes we want to buy solar panels of this this quant quality this this quantity submit your bids the companies they submit their quotations right and then there is a proper quality check there is proper background check and then whichever companies you know qualifies then the officials they select the lowest bidders and the project is awarded this is what this is bid pricing okay so students ibps so marketing and spm cil marketing officer marketing manager assistant manager course is available on bankexamstoday.com all the links are available in the description we are providing video classes notes test series complete coverage of the syllabus if you are buying spm cil marketing course you'll be getting access to ibps so marketing course as well and if you are buying ibps so marketing course you'll be getting the access to spm cil marketing course because they are same right exactly the same courses there is one additional subject in spm cil we'll be giving that for free okay interview preparation guidance is included in the course no issues okay list of our successful students uh, list of our successful students in ibps so marketing 2022 all these students that took our courses in 2022 and they cracked their respective exams and in 2021 all these students that took our courses and they cracked their respective exams 2020 2019 all these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams 
Link to join the course is available in the description. If there is any doubt, just drop a WhatsApp message on 906720100. We'll be answering your doubts. And that's actually all for today's students. I hope you like the today's session. And in case there is any doubt in your mind, please ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts. So that's all. Subscribe the channel and like this video and share this video with your friends. That's really important. Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye-bye.